Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow! Look at all these gadgets! Gadgets? Sorry, machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, man. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he's unable to tell us where to look for it. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Cytanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh! Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi-enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun! And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. items here. That'll really 
you snazz up those snaps. That filter is very popular with the kids. Personally, I don't get it. Oh, no more humdrum photos for you. I'm not saying your face has flaws, but if it does, this will fix them. Ayanara, psychic! here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right! A brain for Nick, so I can get in to see Ford, and to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. Yep! So many brains! All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments! Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. Only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. It's me the creeps. Weird. Been in there too long. I just want to squish that. Probably a good thing this brain is in a jar. Damaged. Hey, I think I know this one. Glad I never met this person. Why'd they even save this one? This one can't be real. You know, sometimes you see a brain and you just know you would have liked the person. Seen one brain, you've seen them all. I feel like this one came from a criminal. Lousy! Check out the smug look on this one. So small. You call that a brain? I like this one. Good curves on this one. They're all starting to look the same to me. Cute. I have a good feeling about this brain. <laughs> Unfortunate. That one looks like mine. Woof. What went wrong here? They should really change that one's juice. This one seems nice. I have a feeling this person died in jail. Yikes! I think I see a dead fly. It. Is this one bubbling? I feel like this one came from a celebrity. This one's got attitude to spare. That's the second biggest brain I've ever seen. Kinda wanna poke this one. Wow, that is one weird looking brain. 
This one seems nice. What went wrong here? <laughs> I like this one. I kind of want to poke this one. How is it? I have a good feeling about this brain. Been in there too long. Cute. Seen one brain, seen them all. Good curves on this one. So small. Is this one bubbling? That one looks like mine. What's that smell? Check out the smug look on this one. They're all starting to look the same to me. I have a feeling this person died in jail. Woof. Sometimes you see a brain and you just know you would have liked the person. Why'd they even save this one? You call that a brain? Glad I never met this person. I think I see a dead fly. Dick. Oh, okay. This one's got attitude to spare. I feel like this one came from a celebrity. Probably a good thing this brain is in a jar. I feel like this one came from a criminal. This brain gives me the creeps. Yikes. I just want to squish that one. Weird. Wow. That is one weird looking brain. Unfortunate. Hey, I think I know this one. That's the second biggest brain I've ever seen. Damaged. This one's my favorite. They should really change that one's juice. Too big for Nick. Too small for Nick. Ouch. No thank you. Doesn't have the oblongata I'm looking for. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. That one looks a little soggy. Hmm. No. Too small for Nick. No, thank you. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind Poppins. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? 
No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have brain will travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Straight thoughts. Okay, let's see if there are any straight thoughts around. Yep. I think it's the other direction. Oh, you look just like my nephew. I think it's over this way. You please shut that my thing off. My label maker. Me a if you need a big win, come down nope. and get a performance. That's not my label maker. This is promising. No running. Found some thoughts. Thanks, thought tutor. For you, side challenge marker. Who's dragging in all this mud? We've got Psy Cores, Psy Pops, and the ever popular Dream Fluffs here at the Automatic. Don't be shy, little bots. Oh, you look 
look just like my nephew. Definitely more this way. Warmer. Ha! There are some straight thoughts. Almost time for my afternoon nap. Almost time for my afternoon nap. Sensing some stray thoughts nearby. <laughs> Finally! I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Bool right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Trees? Voices. He can't shut them out. 
Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi! I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh, you don't want to stay in the PIC? Listen, I don't blame you. Hi! Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a senior league membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Do you need help getting out of there? No, I put myself in here. Why did you put yourself in there? Well, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed, accidents happen. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. With what? I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snouts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future Maligula battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. I need a Senior League membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she... die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but... I just can't anymore. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off? Hey, hang on a second. Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one... B? I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one B coming up. Okay, I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Bool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh. Hi! Sorry, little brother. 
I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, Crazy. <laughs> Am I doing the pose right? I'm trying to place my fingers on my temple like my son does, but... Huh. He should be the one imitating you, sir. <sighs> oh, no. I don't want to hurt any feelings here. But I can already tell that you are the most powerful psychic in your family. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Maybe if I got a little more practice. <laughs> Man. This part of the woods is giving me the heebie-jeebies for some reason. It's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now... Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't get badges for. It's so spooky. There's probably nothing interesting. Oh! Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe! Ooh, I got three! Even better! Not so fast! Lizzie?
I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew, okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. The latest DJ I've added to my roster. Do you mean your only DJ? We have a very specific discriminating musical direction here at KLOB. Radio cops, you're busted. Not funny, Narc. I'm telling Hollis. No, you won't. That would hurt my internship, and then I'd hurt you. Okay, I need to go report my findings to the radio. Like who? Like me? Radio cops, you're busted. Okay. I need to go report. Huh. And you? Hey, Gisu. You discharge all those psycho seismometers yet? Yep. Those things were a hazard. Well, here's your hazard pay. Let us never speak of it again. Mm. Hey, Gisu. Remember when I vented all those psycho seismometers for you? That was pretty cool, huh? Don't live in the past, Raz. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB, the story of the poor. Could you give me a lift? Thanks for the ride! all the emotional baggage in Agent Forsythe's mind. It's the least I could do after the trouble I caused. <laughs> hey, little buddy. I need to get somewhere quick.
this nugget is saying to me, take me away. May I trouble you for a bubble? Spring Rock. I need to come in there and talk to you. Sorry, senior staff only. What? Really? Senior staff? He's senior staff. I think. Nick! TV? Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh. Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light, dark, and every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room, and how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang! There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness, oneness, nothingness, nothingness, nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. Nick, I've got something here that will help. Is it a blindfold? Earplugs? Better. Ooh, I don't know if you want to come in. Whoa, 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 what the? Fall of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here. You're experiencing a sensory overload. Try to stay calm. Whatever you do, don't have a...
I say fight! Fight! I feel like I'm about to go on stage! Oh no! I can't breathe! I, I don't know how to beat it. It's just too fast. Dear Universe, please shut up! There we are. This is good. Let's stay here. the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Hope this is a good memory. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Hope this is a good memory. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. Needed on stage. Come on, Psy King. My dark place. Psy King. Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Cruller? Ha. <laughs> good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for... You know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. Here's the situation. Nick's body is sending you all sorts of sensory input. Smells, tastes, visual sounds, tactile feedback. You've just got to deal with it. We know how to deal with a crowd, man. Speak for yourself. I don't remember a thing. Oh, they look mad. They'd be happy if we could just play for them.
I just wish we knew what to do with them. Maybe they'll go away. They only want you guys. Yeah, it's always rough on the opening act. Sorry. First tag. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Know what this crowd wants? Yeah, they came for a feast of the senses. So give it to them. Oh wow, man, it's been so long. I I don't even know where my violin is. 
what is a Feast of the Senses? Is it a band? Well, it's more than a band, man. It's a non-stop festival of sights, sounds, smells, feelings, and flavors. And yes, it was our old band. Our old friends. Who was in the band? And besides me, there was uh, Tasty, Dr. Touch, Audio, Sniffles, and of course, on the mic, we had the Psy King. What happened to the feast? Well, the audience just disappeared one day, and the band drifted apart. Uh, I'd do anything to get the band back together again. I'll find your violin. Just tell me where you last used it. Can I even remember what it looked like? If only you could see the world the way I see it. the inside of an eyeball would be goopier? Huh. This kind of reminds me of our old stage setup. Coincidence. Those things are too fast. Check this out. Whoa! When 
you're alone as long as I was, time loses some of its meaning, and your perception of it becomes your reality. Wanna give it a try? There are. I'm starting to remember that there might be more. Two, check one, two, three. Is that a fish? I think it's a fish! Or a bus. I forget which is which. Try your time bubble on those platforms. Yeah. Well, you rode on it, so I guess it's a bus. Two. Check, check, check. The tip of the tongue, the lips and the teeth. <laughs> Just helping that one clear its way. I don't like that brand of mine. Eyes on the target. And I've got eyes on me. Hi.
Why'd he put his violin in here anyway? To protect the sound? Is it climate controlled? Nugget is saying to me, take me away. so beautiful, but it's too much, too many colors. Don't panic. Ah, you said panic. This 
guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> Once we get these light ticklers hooked up, the stage show is gonna be incredible. Doesn't anyone here just want to sit and talk? It's always now, 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 and then kill, kill, kill. Ah, peace and quiet again. How nice. I don't like the look of that thing. Correctly, it's been a while. Maybe these friends are different. Vision, I said this, but eyeballs are kind of gross. If you look at them closely, I already feel horrible for saying that. Oh, I know this one. This is a blender, right? had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. some emotional baggage nearby. We are all just frequencies in the same beam of light. Rainbow bound and bonded. Whoa, think that statue's big enough? Ah, uh, well, you need a big ego in front of the band. Can we rainbow. get a little more? Yeah, uh, you couldn't hear it, but that one said something super rude. So far! 
home, I think they might throw up. Is that possible? Is that what crying is? giant eyes. we desire. What was that again? Something to do with mixed drinks. Is this the end? Or have we bent around back to the beginning? It's better, but to handle a crowd that size, we need the whole band, man. 
We need Tasty, Sniffles, Dr. Touch, and Audie. Yeah, Audio. He'll remember him, man. <laughs> Where are they all now? Oh, they wandered off when the audience left. Could be anywhere. This festival covers so many acres. Hey! <gasps> Didn't we used to have a cool band van? Fearmobile! I'll bet they're still at the festival somewhere. Woohoo! So what's driving? These are the concession stands. If they got hungry, they'll be here. Ooh, I bet we'll find some of them at the campgrounds. They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. Whoops. You want me to drive? I don't want to brag, but uh, I've got uh, eyes. Good idea. Let's look here. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many scents and flavors. And lines, man. So many long lines. I'll go find Tasty and Sniffles. sound hungry. I feel bad about cutting in line, but I'm on a mission. into that hungry crowd, they would eat me. This unruly crowd takes me back to my circus days. Except, we never really had crowds.
think I hear some emotional baggage. Excuse me? Hang on, kid. We're trying to decide what to order. You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. Do they have corn dogs? If so, that's what you should get. Kid, the Psy King is back. This is no time for eating. I can't believe I just said that. Why don't you just buy new instruments? My instrument is like a part of me. Yes, mine too. But part of me I set down somewhere and I can't remember. If you guys let me take a look, I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. I have to admit, I'm a little afraid of this one. What, they got all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man. Things are telling me not to hold this thing too long. Let 
What are these made of? Too much, if you ask me. in here. It's one of those double-decker buses. there are. I swear I can taste this thing. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Oh, oh God. Now I can taste it. Ah. Do I have a heart? 
I feel like I'm about to go on stage. Maybe you could slow this thing down. Response is triggering. I say fight. Fight! Stay calm, man. Stay calm. You remember that thing I taught you about slowing down time? I've never heard any complaints about. St. Bernard turned inside out!
creeps hate you so much? Those people just don't appreciate flavor. But I loved it. Ooh, that's a good look on you, Psy King. We need to get the whole band back together, am I right? We need Dr. Touch. And we need audio. So, why aren't you the singer? You wouldn't ask that if you ever heard the Psyking sing. He is amazing. He's the best. Oh, please, hey, you're making you me bald? blush. I mean, Psyking. I'm a little overwhelmed, but you know, too much sense is better than none, right? Isn't I? Very funny.
I could really use a drink. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. Excited about getting the band back together, Vision? I will be as soon as Audie O and Dr. Tutch are with us. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Can't beat that old van smell. Where are we going? They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. Good idea. Let's look here. Ooh, I bet. Well, this is the campground. Dr. Touch and Artie used to like to come here. They like to get high out here. So, you're saying they're up there? Yep. The view up there is amazing. I miss the quiet. I love what they've done with the place. I've heard about music festivals like this. This one is surprisingly clean. There's some emotional baggage now.
taste tag. Gotcha. We always do. No, we don't. See? Here you go. Me? You started this. Oh, choo-choo. Here comes the blame train. For someone who's all ears, you really don't know how to listen. For someone who's all... Didn't you guys see the huge crowd down there? People are screaming for the Feast of the Senses. That's what I've been telling this one. But the problem with him is that he just won't listen. Without psyching, there is no feast. There's nothing. But Psy King is back. What? He's down by the van with Vision. But we're not ready. We haven't practiced. Dr. Touch, where are our instruments? I, I thought you had them. Heard that. Again, ah, you know, they seem to say things, things again. a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Color? Ah, uh, good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. Dr. Touch sounds an awful lot like Otto Metallus. And Vision sounds like Ford. But there was never anything in true psychic tales about them being in a band together. Tell me. I'm just not ready. Oh, okay. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Can't beat that old van smell. Good idea. Let's look here. Go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van.
Maybe you could perform without your instruments? What could we possibly perform without our instruments? Hmm. Magic? I do know a little sleight of hand, you know. Please. We need those instruments. The crowd's getting angry. Hey, that kind of pressure is not helping. Yes, that makes us just want to stay up here, where it's safe. Let me take a look. I bet I can find them. Sounds good to me. Let me give you a hand. Instruments coming up. Careful. Dr. Touch. Hey, I love what they've done with the place. Okay, let's get those instruments and get out of here. If I know Audie, this is gonna sound awesome. Oh, and Dr. Touch is good too. Careful. Dr. Touch can be a little handsy. Instruments. Nothing between me and them except that innocuous looking empty platform.
just remembered something I need to do. Oh, that looked painful. But take it from me, feeling bad is better than feeling nothing. Need my help? No. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm basically the lord of all... Oh, I gotta say, Sacking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast!
the skin no bone Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's blown At the bottom of a lake A frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started Healing Healing Now I can feel like a galaxy And there the flow of time It's been so tense But now I sense A reason to this life Oh, I can Cosmic eye Senses are the magic keys They fill the holes I've had Unlocking all my memories Which I never, never Wanna bet? Helmut? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no, not, not again. again. I know her! From Lobato's nightmare. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Air Universe, please! Shut up! There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light? You're a helmet full bear! Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. What's going on here? Uh, this was my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. You were going to act her to death? I did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Full Bear, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So, Maligula used to be... your friend? And her name was... Lucy? <sighs> 
Was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Lucretia Mux, but she went bad somehow and then you all had to go fight your friend? I liked not remembering stuff. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, fool bear. But my stupid hyper high glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it's a... Uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little crack to begin with. If my body's been in hyper ice all this time, I'll bet I look amazing. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back. Remember, this is our friend, Lucy. She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your strawberry, Donato. your body yet, Forbear, but not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ, and come back for the rest of you. Just after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay, I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Sorry, King! Sorry, King! Sorry, King! Sorry, King! Sorry, King! Sorry, King! Sorry, King!
Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, Senior Mailroom Staff. Welcome, Helmet Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one, and now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But- Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But- I'll see you at curtain call. Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Well, I ought to let you get back to work. Ooh, I almost felt that. Keep practicing. <laughs> Lumberjack Rumble.
Bring a little bit back for her. Hope this helps her treat her dad.
got that plant you needed. Thanks, Raz. I know you only did it out of friendship, but let me give you this anyway. Makes me feel less guilty. Hi, Lily. Hey. I'll check in with you later, all right? Don't worry about your dad. He'll be okay. I hope so. I don't want to bother the feast during their- May I trouble you for a bubble? That always makes me a little dizzy. Punch it in the face. That's how you survive. all the emotional baggage in Helmet's mind. I wonder if I can be in the band now. Oh, you look just like my nephew. 
jerk. What's up, little guy? Oh, hello. Bubble fans, you're going to love these new time bubble pins. <laughs> time bubble fans, you're going to love. Check out these new time bubble pins. for visiting the automatic. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Good selection. Good thing you bought that now. Save that until you rank up for best results. I can tell you are an intern, staff member, visitor, or intruder of great taste. Tell me if that works. I mean, uh, tell me how you like it. Great! Great that I finally got rid of this. Ooh. That choice says a lot about you. Good selection. Just keep that in. Excellent choice. Come back any time. Excuse me, Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller, yes? How are you feeling? Busy. It's like nobody's been sorting the mail for days. Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Dear Ford, we brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia.
there's a piece of Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect, it'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so... I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? But this letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you're courted, the feelings must get sorted. Keep coming. What's the point? Nobody ever writes what they really mean. Ah! I wrote a letter once. Did I think I could stop a war? Ah, doesn't matter. I never sent it. Maybe it would have saved a thousand lives. Maybe just one. I wonder what would have happened if I'd sent that ladder. I wonder if it's too late. I don't belong in here. I get you out of here. Will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick before he. Whoa! Ah! Oh, my mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait. Uh oh. Lucy, haven't heard from you in a while. Send us a card, or better yet, come home. We miss you. Four.
here's the hat box tag. Gentle rain's not enough to secure my reign. Stop being coy with the boy Kaloi.
think I hear something. <laughs> the people have a no nickname for me. They call me Malikula. Nah, who sounds serious? I take it as a compliment. I like it so much, in fact. I can't remember being called by another name. Okay, just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, no. <sighs> Some ladies are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait, I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no town to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. That's the key I need over there.
Is that the missing typewriter key? That's a key to the typewriter. I don't think I have all the keys I need to properly address this envelope. Is that the missing typewriter key? I need over there. Yep. Oh.
it. I think I collect every figment in this mine. <clears throat> hey, I think that's a key to the typewriter. <clears throat> that's better. Now where are the rest? Lucy, our last letter frightened us. We don't sound like yourself. We're just worried about you. We love Ford and friends. Still too missing. Yep. Yep. Is that the missing typewriter key? is almost complete. Just one key missing. But where is it? I think I know who Ford would like to address this letter to. Send that off and see what we get. You see, the mail just doesn't matter. This is a private mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. What did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. Just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. How should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. One piece of Ford's mind connected, now for the other two. 
I hope I'm doing the right thing, but Agent Zanato is right. We'll need Ford at full capacity if we're gonna have a chance against Maligula. Excuse me, Ford? Sorry, with a client right now. Obviously. Think you'll be done with that haircut soon? Please, you can't rush an artist. I see a big missing chunk on this side. What's that? Not to fear, only temporary. All part of the process. <laughs> Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. Shaggy. Now, not to worry. A fresh cut and you'll feel like a whole new person. Just make sure you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. And something tells me it's up in that lighthouse.
shame in it. Every head has its own. Desirables. Yeah, but this is really lousy. What are they made of? This best. Oh, this is frustrating. seem to come back.
is their home. You're just a visitor. trunk tag.
Sorry, insects, but you're in my way. What have you done? Uh, cleaned up the streets? Those are peaceful protesters, Lucy. Lucy? I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. person I used to know. Ford, I just saw you. Remember? The bacon? I can't even recognize the person you become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? We accidentally unlocked. <sighs> hey, you lousy little mite, how'd you get in here? Don't 
push me. I'll gargle a whole bottle of hydrocell if I need to. Lucretia went to Gulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. A sec. Ford? Huh. I guess he finished up. Well, if you see Ford tell him he did a great job, I feel like a completely different person. Only one more piece of Ford's mind to reconnect. I'm making progress. But what if Maligula shows up here? And Ford's not ready. I need to hurry up. I'd rather not. Excuse me? Oh, you don't want to stay high? Agent Bull? I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah! I said one! I only needed one B! Shoo! Shoo! Get out of here! I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no! Don't all talk at once, please! I can't take it! I can't! It's too much! Too much! Oh no! Don't explode! And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! Want me to kill those bees? No! Like with fire, maybe. It's totally not a problem. Please, don't hurt them. What's wrong? Too many voices. Too many everything. Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah! Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah. Great. Out of my way, bees. Yes, I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Court is in session. Please remain standing. If you're able. A 
such a judge's gavel! Almost had it. I just... Let's take a five minute recess. Oh, no, 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 no! Captain? Anything but this. It's time for... And welcome to Ram It Down. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanotto. And tonight, we'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Ooh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Ram it down! Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the mystery box. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Pfft, sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? And Chef has the egg. Oh, it's happening! <laughs> Let's see if he remembers what to do with it. I can't Careful wait that to get steam cooked. Melt those goggles right off you.
watch pot never boils. See what he does while that egg is boiling. Oh, this more than I thought I would. <laughs> he the Let's see if he can get it to the plate. assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I, I'm not sure. We'll find out, I suppose. Eat, 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 Well, eat, here eat, we eat, are. Eat, At the eat, moment eat, of eat, truth, eat, will eat, we be looking eat, at a drowned eat, egg eat, or eat, a drowned eat, contestant? Eat, 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 eat. Reveal the meal. <gasps> Sir. What we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. Bon Appetit. Hmm, surprisingly acceptable. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations! You did it! How does it feel? Um, well... Fantastic! Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish! Right after this commercial message. Justice! Ha! 
my power comes from justice, not that little mallet. <laughs> Agent Fool, an important thing to do when you're feeling overwhelmed is to take breaks. So before I push that button and start the next dish, let's take a breather, okay? Good idea. button and get cooking again. Ah! I think I hear some emotional baggage now. What's 
that sound? some emotional baggage to Start the next round. I'll take this again.
Jim Pool, you can do it. Next one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating a strawberry jam croque madame. Ooh la la! You'll need to boil another egg. <laughs> easy. 
take some bread. I've already risen to the occasion. Slice it up. Bread's much nicer once it's been through the slicer. And fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out. Uh, well, what about the strawberry, huh? Hey. <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been blended. Did someone call for patty puree? All right, monsieur. It's time to show us your best madame. I wonder which ingredient he'll select first. Yeah! Walk in the kitchen, please. Especially with that. You won't be disappointed. Looking for the perfect blend? Be careful. I lost an arm in there once. Once a goat tastes human flesh. Well, it changes the relationship. Quick moving blades, razor sharp. What could possibly go on? to pull back the pork chopper's action hoof? Great! Once he pushes that button, the chopping check is now clear. That bread needs to get fried. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that he's sliced the bread, Chef just needs to fry it up. You want to grill it? I got your skillet. We only have five more seconds. Oh, sorry, I'm not finished. Multitasking. <laughs> that doesn't smell right. Man, it's cold in here now that I'm sliced. Croak, 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 croak. Reveal! 
the meal. <gasps> what do you have to say for yourself? We have uh, attempted to infuse this dish with um... curiosity and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. <laughs> Slightly better than a mouthful of nails. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Now be gone! And bring us more food! Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, it's time for a word from one of our sponsors. Do without you. How would you feel about taking a little break before I push that button to start the next dish? That's just what the doctor ordered.
almost ready to hit that next button and start the next round. Oh. I think I've collected every figment in this mine. You know, we might just get through this. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. Straight from the Lumber Stack Diner, it's the Honey Pepper Pancake Stacker. You'll need another egg. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. Oh, but this time that egg needs to fry. Then I'm your guy, Ribbit. Next, you'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm game. Get it? Whatever, as long as that pig gets sliced. That's a little sick, man. And fry. Wait, I got a pull a double shift? To give our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Woohoo, I'm all a buzz. I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. It's about Tom! That's been chopped! Sure, I guess. Uh, kinda still thinking about that pig, though. And then blended! Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm the big finish. No pressure, but this is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Yeah. So, chefs, better get cooking. You know, we might just get through. <gasps> I knew you couldn't resist me. Let me slice that melon for you. <laughs> Ingredient in position. Now we must quickly grab the pork chopper's hook. Quick moving blades, razor sharp. What could possibly be? Got it! Quick! That watermelon is still a little chunky. Better bring it to the blender, Chef. Come over here, melon! in this dish. We're moving the hive! Somebody get the queen! I hear the bubbles tickle when you're getting boiled! Oh, I can feel it's helping my lower back already! I could work in miracles with them. They said I never fly. Look at me now, haters! Come on, let's... Grandpa Bourbon! Is that you? Oh, I can't go away! Yay! Hey, that wasn't so bad. No kidding? Well, say hi to your dad boy. The frying pan is ready. Not yet. Now, 
the chef remember where the serving plate is. Need to tune this. Oh. Careful, that's hot. Yep. Chef needs to fry that egg now. Careful. <gasps> That ingredient looks ready. Now, he just has to get it back to the serving plate. 30 seconds to go. I don't want to... Well, for better or worse, it looks like the dish is assembled. Just push the button. Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Have I mentioned that when prepared stack. improperly, Lumber the honey stack. pepper pancake stack stack. can produce an Lumber interesting stack. byproduct. Lumber no, stack. I didn't Lumber mention the possibility stack. of a Lumber deadly stack. swarm of Lumber killer bees. Ah, no matter. Let's see what we got. Reveal the meal. <gasps> Is that the tallest stack you could manage? It's taller than it looks. Because we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile, if you will. <laughs> Moderately pleasant. That's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for... What, audience? Double down! No! That's right. It's time to double down! Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Don't worry, Agent Bull. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're... Mm. professionals. Uh, we might have to uh, make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. Please stay clear of the goat wretch for my Oh, that's not... Oh, no. He's got the wrong ingredient again. Oh, 
anybody even listening to me? Oh, I hate to see that. You have to close my eyes. Look out! Oh, I, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. I'd better eat a side pop before I run out of mental energy. Ooh, thank you for the mental energy. Run! Ram attack! More down, you'll spoil the dish. Why is he oh, looking like the wrong? Do do it, it, I wonder. Oh, are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be good for you, and it must be unthinkably warm. You need to serve the judges, chef, not attack. Please don't play with that. Ghost vomit is not a It's a strong word, but perfect choice. But is it too late? Very nice. Hmm. You goats must barf. Why not barf out in the air? Watch it. Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be good for you, and it must be unthinkably warm. Goat is charging! Can the suitor get his partner what he needs? What do you think, audience? Quickly, sort through the partially digested bounty and find me my ingredient. Ooh, looks like he's got a good one, relatively speaking. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, goat wretch Disgusting ones might hold the key to our victory. Well, it's about time you found one of them. Oh, the final ingredient. Now I just have to make this dish all by myself. You can do it. I shall certainly try. You stay safe down there while I do my best. He did it! We did it! As you know, in the double down round, the chef's assistant must serve the dish to the judges. Let's see if this eat, young man eat, eat, has a eat. passion for service. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. Uh-oh. The judges eat, are so eat, full eat, of eat, eat. I'm gonna have to... Eat, 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 eat. Eat, eat, eat. Eat, 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 eat. eat, eat. Uh -oh. oh, it looks like our judge liked that dish. Perhaps a little too much. <laughs> oh, but it looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. That's going to be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is Royal Borscht. Good luck. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Oh, please tell me this fact has the ingredient in the wisdom. It seems like the sous chef has picked up the wrong end. That's the ticket. Show yourself, Bork. Oh, oh I, I wouldn't touch that if I were. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, I know you don't take some eggs or ah. mm. oh, oh, I, I wouldn't touch that. I knew. Oh, I hate to see that. I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, you never want to see how the food really gets made, do you? Oh, please tell me this batch has the ingredient in oh, it. Perfect. Eat this. Wrong. Finally. Oh, yes. I'll take it from here. Bring it to my Easy. 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 Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks incredible, but the judges say it's inedible. Serve it before it gets up and walks away. All right, let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderate. Uh oh, someone's been overserved. <laughs> and it looks like they're getting ready to flip out. But our final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. <laughs> Wrong ingredient. A slight whiff of vomit on this one, but I'll cover it up with spice. If I could just trouble you for the water now, young man. Ingredients are so nice, he's using them twice. Oh, More ingredients. I don't want this. No offense. Exactly the thing. Hurry now. Oh, excellent. Are we going to get a strawberry? Bachelor attack! Yep. One of those disgusting lumps might hold the key to our victory. Why are you playing with that? I don't want that. We don't need one of those right now. Here we go. That's the last ingredient. I, I don't want to change it, but I feel like this one will be my best one yet. Dinner in a minute. 
about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait! Don't you want... help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. With this Senior League pass, I can get to Agent Crawler in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The bowling aspect. <laughs> Too hard in yourself, kid. It's a mess in there. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Yes, I'm ready to go. of this show has been cut drastically. You might say it was chopped. <laughs> but they kept that guy. Weird. Yeah. Oh, here's the steamer trunk tag. Sound. 
like Compton's mind is sorted. Emotionally speaking, I mean. Look a little young for the senior league, hmm? I keep all my gray hidden under the helmet. Hmm. Ah, good tip. Watch it. This disinfectant spray is lethal. be wearing a mask? Yeah, well, might as well take some practice shots before the rest of the senior league gets here. Is it December already? So that's the Christmas tree. The dinner bucket. <laughs> Double wood left. Should be an easy spare. Well, it happens to all of us sometimes. I'm sure Nona won't miss this old Guloki deck. We never seem to play anymore. Yes, darling. Find out anything new, Agent Bodello? No, darling, and I hate it. How about you? I have some leads, but nothing to report yet. Oh, that sounds exciting, darling. Well, I'll stop bothering you now. Never a bother, darling. Ciao. Well, this has been fun, but it's getting late night. Are you... Hi, Sasha. Any new leads? I'm getting nowhere with this... this... Unlikely friend? <sighs> I'll let you get back to the interrogation. Sorry I can't help. You've done a lot, Rasputin. Thank you. Maybe if I turn the safety off?
Scanning access granted. Agent Forsyth? Sorry about my family. No need to apologize. All families are terrible. Oh, uh, actually, mine is great, really. Oh, mine too. I was just trying to relate to you in a human way. Sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. I always have time for my interns, Aquato. Now get out of my sight. Scanning access granted. I get a drink? What? Are you kidding? <sighs> hey, are you sure you're old enough to be an intern? Coach, mm. aren't you supposed to stay away from, you know, death machine plans? This is no death machine, soldier. This is a machine of peace to protect the people you love from Maligula. What do you call your peace machine? The Psycho Mech Battle Bot. Are you still gonna make that thing? Those. Penny pinchers cut it from the budget. Well, maybe that's a good thing? Yeah, now I can make it without any official oversight. How are you gonna make it without money? Son, the less you know about it, the better. Um, yeah, no. Hey, don't you have an intern to take care of? She's on an important mission. I sent her out to get some nunya. What's nunya? None your business. <laughs> I saw Sam. And listen, I think she has some issues with animals. What? She's a bull. Bulls love animals. Um... I wouldn't eat those pancakes she's making. Eat them? No. We're using them as heat shield tiles for the psychomech, so it doesn't burn up on re-entry. Do you promise this isn't a plan to take over the world? Rasputin, that was the old me. Yeah, like three days old. Anyway, with the money Forsyth's giving me, I couldn't take over this bar. What do you think the mole is? Oh, Sasha. 100%. What? I mean, that accent, right? It's weird. Where does it even come from? Coach, I don't think... Trust no one, Rasputin. No one. Are you nervous about Maligula? Let me put it this way. If that mass murderer did come back, who do you think she'd blame for what happened to her? Where would she come for revenge? Right here. I don't mean this bar, Raz. I mean the mother lobe. Well, I'll leave you to your plans. Plans that will save your life, soldier. We would have been unstoppable, you and I.
bean counters. What an amazing couple we would have been. Watch out, intern! Hello. Not now, kid. Busy. Nah, I've got it in my blood. Hey, Ford. Shoes aren't ready yet. What you doing there? Time to disinfect these bowling shoes. And I think I'm losing the fight. Would you mind if I stepped inside your mind for a minute? Sure. Better than you stepping inside one of these shoes. I tell you, it's like Germ City in there. A giant thought bubble made of bricks. Gotta remember where I parked that thing. You aren't going to show this to the others, are you? Is it still going? I need to put more money in it. Ford? Hmm, wow. Ford and Lucretia... dated? that came here on the date, Ford and Lucy? Yeah, they were just here a second ago. Cute couple. Any idea where they went? They went bowling. Duh! -ha! That away. There's any brains in there. More than you got, Sonny. The end is coming! Oh, give it a rest, guy! Death is coming from above! Uh. Guy was right. All hail Guy the Prophet. If there's a piece of Ford's mind in here to reconnect, I'll bet it's up in that giant bowling pin head. Why didn't you go home, Sonny? Yep. 
Oh, was I in the way? Get this done! I'm not allowed any more overtime this week! I think I hear some emotion. Almost had it. But I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. I need to fix that rail crane. And you're gonna help me, okay? What's that sound? This looks like a one-way road to the gutter. Out of my way! I gotta get to that giant Ford head before the city is sanitized! If I don't live to see it, there will be a tomorrow. That's the stuff. Here we go. Almost there, buddy. Just keep running. Slick to ride now. Bowling balls only. I just waxed the wood. Oh. Hey, man, what's the rush? Don't you know the world's ending? What you're up to, kid. Ew, this slime is so sticky. You know it. The kids just 
love it. And do I know the best way? This thing's big. Come on, Chief. We're on vacation. Attack the messenger. to Ford. I need to fix that broken rail on the Kingpin Express before someone arrests me. Man, if this stuff wasn't... Ah, oh, man. You messed up the trick I was about to do. What has this city come to? I need to fix that lane. Hey, where's the road? Oh! Wow! He's a maniac. Cool! <laughs> I could do that. Well, I never. Ah! How rude! The stuff? Now, let's lay some track. When the world gets destroyed, I want it to be perfect. Yes, we'll fix the Kingpin Express. 
Express. Buddy, that ain't the Kingpin Express. That's the foul line. It'll take you across town, but you gotta transfer to the Kingpin. At this time of day, though, you're better off taking a cab. Thanks. This one's pretty. Ah, oh, you're so brave. Why don't you do it? I'm going to. I'm just waiting for my muscles to warm up. <laughs> what muscles? You'll see them when I'm riding that sick half pipe. You mean when I'm riding that sick half pipe? Express, I'm coming your way. Well, just keep out of my head, or you'll be sorry. That helps spread out my suntan lotion.
Don't attack the messenger. live to see it, there will be a tomorrow. Hey now, no crossing the foul line. Excuse me, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your concern. I have some literature here you might be interested in. Nope, you get away from me. I don't want nothing to do with you kooks. Just take this pamphlet home. Talk about it with your wife. No way. I know how this goes. First you say there is a tomorrow, then you say there's a day after that. No thank you. All right, see you tomorrow. Knock it off. What, are you guys all on break or something? rights for the moment, I'm afraid. Come back later. Our elevator needs a moment. Some germ get off their butt and get to work. As soon as we get this building up, now let's get to work. Oh, man.
Bowling balls only. I just waxed the wood. Whatever you do. Hey, we just stop. Oh, come on, Elle. We talked about this. Ah. Well, somebody get knock it off. Except, of course, that it's ending. Ready for the tenth frame? You better get out of here. Those germs aren't lying about the end of the world. I think this Ford Lucretia romance was more serious than I realized. Ford and Lucy. Sorry. Didn't mean to ruin your date. It's here. 
just like I said. Here comes the big It's the spring. end of spring. This is the big one. Bring it's it so over. beautiful. Bowls aren't allowed in here. Now get for a spray. Here. Don't touch that. That's private. Oh! You and you loved her. Her name is Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. <sighs> Rasputin. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. Deep Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand.
Ford, what's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. And we all were. <laughs> Not anymore. Ford, whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. That's your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. Maligula. She was defeated, but alive. That's it. I, I think her away I've from collected the others every figment in her this back mind. to the gulch. I put her in the astrolabe, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her psyche that was a murderer. Problematic. And I had no <laughs> I put her in the astrobath, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her psyche that was... A murderer? Problematic. But I knew the world would never forgive her. So I had to hide her somewhere safe. Oh no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? 
Yes. That's your grandmother. No! Listen, Raz, I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma, and so you made us babysitter for 20 years? Now look it, you spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her, Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonaut started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. Agent Cruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow. It's really all still here. The Green Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmut Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... Where... I mean... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound? We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. 
I've read about. The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition, it's so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that should have been locked away. Maligula! After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again, with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Ah, you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. Well, I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Stay away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here! I hate to interrupt, but... Is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? So this water curse on my family. The more Lucy comes in contact with water, the more likely she is to remember bad things. So I used the astrolathe to give her an unnatural fear of water. She passed it on to your father, and he passed it on to you. So there is no curse? Rasputin, there's no such thing as magical curses. Please, this is science. Why didn't you just turn Lucretia into the authorities? I knew that the real Lucretia was a good person, and would be fine if we could control the Maligula complex inside her. But I knew no one would ever believe that. They'd lock her up, which would just make Maligula more angry, and more dangerous. Does my dad know? Your dad thinks this is his mother. He has no idea. It's his aunt. No idea that his mother has been dead for 20 years. But he might remember the truth while we are performing the procedure, as Lucy remembers who she is. How are you going to use the astrolathe? Years ago, I used it to seal the spirit of Maligula away. But she is still in there. With your help, I'm hoping we can bring it out and destroy it forever. What you did to my family was wrong, Ford. You're right, Rasputin. I was young, and I panicked. But that's no excuse. <sighs> I just hope we can use the astrolathe to set things right for you and your family. No. Uh, where is it again? That way! In the Heptodome! I'd better get that astrolathe working. That's my boy. That's my boy! Hmm. Sensing some stray thoughts around. This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here.
This is where they sat. Welcome back. Good to don't be a stranger. this card lying around. harmless to me. But that's probably how it gets you. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. 
Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. This thought to round some thoughts. Thanks, thought tutor. My regulars, we appreciate your business. Psycho isolation chamber doing out here. Warning shot. Hmm. I think I got the order wrong. ever psycho-isolation chamber, created as therapy, later used to punish kids at summer camps.
all the exotic animals. This must be what Conti kept his menagerie. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. this card lying around. This used to be Otto's workshop. Looks like it went out with a bang.
My favorite customer. I don't think I need any more gadgets right now. Good, because I would never trust one to someone so young. card lying around. Is that straight thoughts I'm picking up? Oh, great. Is that the real Fieldmobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theater. Wrong bees. Smoke get in your eyes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, bees. Smoke this. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. 
<laughs> Victory over bees. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. sticks conveniently to your face while you're talking. someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but it's covered in, well, really angry Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. I'm not contributing to the global decline. That hurts! Stupid. <laughs> 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 
Here, the automatic will be here. I hate to interrupt, but is the astrolathe ready, Rasputin? It's covered in bees. Isn't Cassia Compton around here somewhere? Uh, they were always good with that sort of thing. Total bug nerds. It's strangled by thorny vines. Hmm. Bob Zanotto was our vegetation expert. He liked plants more than people. I'd better get that astrolathe working. That's my boy. That's my boy. Sign my copy of Mind Swarm. I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. I'll let you get back to your bees. Yes, they get upset when I make too much noise. Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? 
Why don't you work out of the mother load with the rest of the Psychonauts? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can, in case Ford and the others ever come back. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. <laughs> 